everyone, welcome back. We got a new game today. Someone suggested that we ought to play this game, and I I was considering it already. I had played this game before, and I really loved it. And I played a little bit uh, of it last night with some friends of mine, and my husband, Country Nerd. And just to get a feel of it. And I enjoy it, and I wanted to share it with y'all. So, let's start a new character and check it out. And if you like, y'all like it too, and y'all want me to see some more, see some more of this, then let me know in the comments and I'll play some more. Okay, go with that one. Uh, let's do that one. Change up the hair. Uh, let's go with that. Darken it up a bit. Blue eyes. Lighten up me. Perfect. Uh, change up the clothes a bit. Nice. This is more or less just preference and what you like because with the new armor and stuff uh, that you put on it kind of cover it up and it has some new outfits and stuff that you can equip too that just make it however you would like to make it. Okay, let's give her a name. How about Mrs. C? Okay, let's play with her. Play on a classic. Eh, medium more works. Or no, that's my original one. Make a large one. So we can see everything. Make it a random start, yeah. And yeah, that works. You can change the name to whatever kind of world you want in it. Make it any kind of difficulty you like. Whatever makes you feel good. This is basically kind of sort of like Minecraft in a way, but in a way it's a lot different. A lot more cool armor. You can fly, just like in Minecraft, but you get to choose all different kinds of setup for that. Invite villagers to live with you. A bunch of more creatures that you can fight. A lot more bosses. <laughs> We'll just get a little bit of the taste of it today. Here we are. 
Lovely. We made it to the new world. I like to try and find a nice, even, flat area. There's one of the creatures. This is a slime. Well, apparently, it decided to put us in between two mounds. Yep. Ooh, and we get our first chest. Got some pots so we can bust. Gave us a, a boomerang right off the bat. Some tin ore, a recalling potion, some bottles, and some extra wood. Yes, thank you. I like to collect all the chesses too. go back down here. This is our first villager. His name is Luke. He's the guy. He gives you helpful information and help you with starting up how to learn the game and everything. This looks like the biggest enough flat area. You can modify the land however you like too. Chop down some trees. Gonna need a lot of wood to start off. Temporarily just box myself in there. So I can make this a workbench. So I can make me some doors and all the other stuff that I need to build. I like to make two. For a back door and a front door.
lock him in so he'll stay safe. Yes, I know you like to explore and help fight, but I just want to protect you right now. Night Titan's almost here. Finish up. Technically, to give them a space and everything, you would need a table and a chair to make them a room, along with a, a room of their own, with a door. But, the workbench can count as a table too. So, all you technically need is a chair. And then build some walls. Gotta get some more. We're also gonna need that. Need a couple. Uh oh, that's the tiki torches. Oh, huh, that'll work too. For now. I was actually looking for some torches to hang on the walls and stuff, but it works. Help with some lighting. We'll use them. This is the torches that we actually need. We'll need a lot of those. about finishing off the walls. Just a couple more.
perfect. And then we can take the excess and just trash it. And now we can talk to him and see if he's happy. Happiness? Getting this place to myself, I greatly appreciate it. I am quite fond of wandering through, uh, through the forest. I like it here. So I guess he likes it. This is his house now. Now, let's see if we got enough to make our first set of armor so we can go exploring. 25. 30. And 20. So... 45, 46, 47, 48. Wait, huh? Okay. 20 and 25 is 45. Then 50, 60, and 70. And I have 110. So, yeah. We can put it over here. Oops. There you go. There. Got the full armor. And this is what I meant about it'll change up your look when you get your first armor. Though. And these are trying to beat down my door. go. That fixes that. Almost made a oopsie. Come back and play.
just get on with the show. I know y'all would rather me show you some more. And there it goes. <laughs> you probably see a lot of that happening. <laughs> That's why I try and do that a little bit. But. My first tombstone. Let's get to exploring. I'm getting some more ore. It's safer to do it at a damn day. But We're gonna test our skill. Oh, we got a first set of four. That will happen. We technically already gotten some more, but that we found in the chest. Gotta get some money done. <laughs> Tin ore can be also used with iron. I mean, I think they're supposed to be like where you can change it where it's iron ore, but I don't know how. But Ten is just, just as good. Get rid of this sword. Collect some money. We can't go a little deeper. Found another sign. Oh. Oh, just Kyle's cricket oh. grasshopper. There you go. I guess. Oh. Since the slimes are coming out, I guess that means uh, it's daytime again. In the day, slimes come to play. And near the night, the zombie comes to play.
climb back here and check my inventory. See if I don't got any. Yep, I got some food. I got some bombs too that I can throw at them. Oh, oh, oh. That's not what I wanted. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Should be protected here for a minute. There you go. You can't eat no acorns. Mm -hmm. Did I lose those bo Oh wait, no, I picked it up. There it is. Let's blow them up. That missed. Oh. Oh. Let's see how much damage that done. <laughs> nothing. Some shurikens. That's nice. Oh. You're done. Now let's light up the place. Some more torches. <gasps> See some more ore. There you go. Light up so I can see a little. Lead. I wonder what that's good for. You little slimes. Oh. Uh, I don't want to waste my wood. Let's see about using some dirt blocks. There you go. Oh. Ooh, that was safe. Uh, I got poison. But uh, 
At least I didn't get hit by the boulder. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna die. Be nice to find some potions here soon. <laughs> I was trying to find that pressure plate. There's booby traps all over the place. Eh, we'll go back to it. Usually you would want to go back so that way you can collect all your money. But I want to see what I can make with all this ore. Really just use this. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I know we needed to put this down. We should have done that when we first got here. Okay. We got a builder's potion that helps increase the placement speed and range. Hmm. I never really used them, but for some people, it could be really handy. Handy. We'll put them up. Maybe test it later. These are really cool. You can throw them. But it destroys them on contact. It helps with being a long range deal. These, these are very nice. It helps with the whole mana stuff later on when you get into that stuff. And it can be used as ammo for a special gun. Recalling potions I really like because it helps you get to the back home real fast. Boomerang basically does the same thing as the shuriken, but it, it, it don't break on Cantat, and it comes right back to you. Keeping that on me because we need that. Ten or rope rope help with climbing stuff. Oops, didn't need that do that much. You can just jump, grab a hold of it. And you got a little grappling deal that helps you go up and down. That's pretty handy. Especially if you try and get out of the place. And you make these and you can make them into a throwable one to be able to climb. instead of having to build it. So that's very handy. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, put away my bombs. They they help a lot when you uh mining stuff. I guess you would say. Check and see what we can make. We can make a fireplace now, which we need for healing. Um, some oh, we got some stone walls now. We can place if we want our dirt wall. We can build a fence if you want to decorate. Or you can build a fishing pole and go fishing. But you have to have a bug net to collect the worms and stuff that you see crawling around. We need to make a hammer because that helps with ho the fixing up the wall if you need it. everything we can build at this moment and I think that's a very nice start we can do ex some more exploring next time I'm thinking about stretching along the map next time to see try to find the ocean find the end of the world on both sides in the next episode if y'all would like to see some more, let me know. See you on the next video.